What's up guys, Kevin here. It's been a long while since I did my video comparing all of the top 10 blue blocking glasses from the year 2020 using real science spectrometer data, which I hadn't really seen anybody else do. If you appreciated that video and you appreciate me continuing to make content, if you could please just smash that like button below, it would do so much for this channel and it would really help me to continue to grow this and justify making a lot more good content for you guys. So please, please just hit the like button below. Now we are very deep into this COVID-19 crisis. I've been quarantined here at home going crazy for the last going on five weeks now. Um, and so I was thinking, what can I do to follow up on that blue blocker video? And I was thinking I should do a deep dive on a brand that actually has really blown up in the last few months. I've been seeing their ads everywhere, my YouTube feed, now I have YouTube Premium, so I don't have to watch it anymore, but my YouTube feed was just being crushed, crushed with these ads for Felix Grey glasses, the ones that I'm wearing right here. And I do think that they are a very fashionable pair of glasses. Do not get me wrong. These look really cool. They're barely tinted. It's, it's kind of hard to even tell that they have any blue blocking technology going on because it's a very subtle yellow hue to the lens. But do they really work? If you watched my other video, you probably already know the answer to this, but I wanted to do a specific video deep diving on this company because I think their marketing and their branding is kind of getting a lot of people excited and getting a lot of people educated at least about the prospect and the benefit of wearing blue blocking glasses. But let's take a closer look at the data. Um, I put these glasses up against a controlled light source using a actual thousand dollar spectrometer from the photography industry to look at the effect that they had on actually blocking those harmful blue and green wavelengths. They're sold as sleep glasses. These are actually supposed to improve your sleep. So let's take a deep dive at this data um, and let's see how they perform. I wanted to show you what the baseline graph looks like, but basically what we have here is a spectral power graph for just the LED light source. So on the x-axis here, we have the wavelength in nanometers. On the y-axis, we have the power in milliwatts per unit area. And this is the region that we're concerned about from 420 to 500 nanometers here. Um, these are the wavelengths of light that are most disruptive to melatonin release. So what I wanted to do was basically overlay a graph for each of the individual glasses with that original source to show you how much of that range is being blocked. So in this example, almost this entire range from 420 up to 540 is being blocked. You can see that there's very little spectral power here. So as we go through each of these, just um, keep in mind that that's exactly what you're seeing. All right, so here's our first example, the Felix Grey glasses, as we kind of suspected because that lens is just very minorly tinted, just has a little bit of a yellow hue to it. There's very little blockage going on in most of these wavelengths. So basically the range from 420 to 500, um, probably 80 to 90% of that light is still getting through. Um, I believe they claim on their site that in the most disruptive um, region, which is around 440 nanometers, there's a 50% drop in spectral power, but that doesn't appear to be the case here. I mean, it looks like it went from about 19 milliwatts down to perhaps 14 to 15 milliwatts, not quite 50%, it is something. And of course, if the fashion aspect and wearing these out in public is the most important thing to you, then maybe these are still a great choice. But if you're looking for something that's the highest performance possible in terms of your melatonin release, you probably wanna look elsewhere. All right, so that data was very enlightening. Um, I think that Perhaps the marketing and the branding from Felix Grey has tricked a lot of people um, into buying them. And obviously people, they want to maintain a certain level of normalcy in their look whenever they go out in public. They don't necessarily want to be seen blue blocking glasses. You don't want to field questions from people who perhaps don't understand your desire to maximize your sleep quality. While I do applaud them for getting the word out there, and educating people on the benefits of blue blocking glasses, I think that their claims are perhaps a little bit overstated. And while I'm not gonna say that they're intentionally trying to mislead people, I do think that the claims are a little bit deceptive. And I just wanted to make a video to show my take on the situation. Now, this is just the test setup that I used. Maybe there's something, you know, I'm not a university scientist, I'm not a PhD, um, I don't necessarily have sophisticated enough test equipment to fully, fully vet these different glasses, but I do think these results are pretty compelling and show that the Felix Grey glasses are not necessarily living up to the claims on the website. I do think these look pretty badass, and I use them from time to time when I'm in front of my computer during the day because of course, it helps to block a little bit of those like harmful blue and green spectra that you probably shouldn't be staring at all day, especially coming from an LED light source like your computer screen. 
Um, so I do think they have some merit and have some use, but to sell these as sleep glasses, I think that's a little bit misleading, Felix Gray. Maybe you use them and they're great for you. Let me know down below. Um, and with that said, thank you so much for watching. Again, please, please, please crush the like button below. It's gonna be super helpful for the channel and I can make a lot more content if the channel really starts picking up. Um, if you could subscribe, if you like this content and let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you wanna see, especially related to health, biohacking, nutrition, cycling, uh, coffee. I have a lot of interests. I probably like spread myself a little bit too thin, but thank you so much for watching and please come back for the next one. Ciao.